Hi guys, welcome back to the Coal Factory, it's Rukwal. In today's video, I'm gonna be using products that I purchased inside of a box that contains sample sizes of full products. The company that I bought this from is the Coal Collective. In December, I did post a video with um, companies in South Africa that do sell um, boxes that contain products inside of them. Some of them have full product sizes and some have sample sizes. So if you're not ready to commit to buy a full product, you can buy the samples from these companies. I'm going to put that video down below in the description so that you can watch that video and see what is inside of this box. So as I said, I bought this from a company called the Cull Collective. And it says here, Cull Simplified. So before we get into this video on what products are inside of this particular box, um, subscribe to my channel. Press the notification bell. New videos on Mondays and Thursdays at Natural Hair South African who, you know, post videos for the community. Um, give the video a thumbs up, please. Comment down below. As I said, new videos come out twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. There's a brand that I really want to try their products and all of the products from this particular brand. I don't know how to say it. I think it's called Inwa or Inwa. I've tried some of the Afro vegan products, but they have another line called Divine Curls. Very, very expensive. So when I was on the website for the Curl Collective, I saw that, wait, I can buy some of the sample sizes, try out the products without having to pay so much of money for the products. I can try them out for a lot cheaper. So in today's video, the wash day is all about me using the Inwa or the in or Divine Curls collection. So this is what the sample sizes look like. They're very, very small, but I'm just going to jump in now and start off with how I cleansed my hair. I started off with the Inwa Divine Curl Shampoo. I used quite a lot. I think this particular sample size, I can wash my hair maybe twice, twice maximum. What did I like about the shampoo? The smell. I love the smell of the Divine Curl Shampoo. Smells amazing, guys. Not too strong, not too fruity. The texture, nice and soft. Goes onto your hair. It's very smooth. It's quite luxurious and it kind of has like a coal wash type of consistency. Doesn't foam up a lot, but it gives a very nice cleanse, rinses out really well. Overall, guys, I enjoyed the shampoo a lot. I think if it wasn't this small, I might have used more while cleansing my hair. I also think cleansing your hair in the shower using this particular product will be a lot better than me doing it on camera. But overall, enjoyed the experience, enjoyed the smell, enjoyed the wash didn't strip my hair, left my hair nice and soft. After that, I did deep condition um, and I went in with the Curl Chemistry products. I'm filming the video today as well, so I'm not going to talk a lot about that because I'll have a full video only on the mask from Curl Chemistry. So I did deep condition with this. After that, I went in with the in or the Inwa Afro Vegan Leave-In Conditioner. Um, this sample size is practically finished. So for me, one application of the leave-in conditioner from the sample size, um, I found that I didn't use as much as I wanted to because I didn't want the sample to get finished. You kind of know when you don't have a lot of product, you're kind of skimping. But I applied it. It went on my hair really nicely. Um, as I said, I just wish I had a little bit more. My hair is a little bit shorter, but I do have quite a bit of hair. But the leave-in conditioner did fairly well. And then after that, I went in with the Inwa Divine Curls Gel. These two don't play very well together. They didn't mix very well on my hair. I did have a bit of white on my hands as well as on my hair as well. So just a reminder that the leave-in was from the Afro Vegan line and the gel is from the Divine Curls line. So they're not from the same line of products, but it is the same brand. Let's talk about the gel. The gel is clear in color, smells amazing, just like the shampoo. The shampoo is from Divine Coles. The gel is from Divine Coles. Same scent. Absolutely love it. Put the gel on my hand. I think I've used about half. I didn't really like the gel. When you put the gel on your hair, 
it's one of those gels that when you put it on your hair, it disappears and it doesn't feel like there's anything on your hair. So you need to put a little bit more because you're not sure is this coating my curls or not. Also, after the application, your hands feel very dry. My hair was feeling very dry as well. Um, the product was literally just disappearing and I wasn't happy with the application of the gel made me very very worried so i applied it in sections raked it through made sure every single bit of hair was coated but wasn't happy with the application the most important thing results this is day two here i didn't want to add any water i didn't want to add any more products i wanted to show you guys what the product looks like on day two with zero refreshing zero touch-ups and i'm happy um, there is a bit of frizz here and there, my fringe um, around this side as well, but my curls are holding and they are soft. I do think that my hair will get a bit dry after two or three days. Um, the moisture level isn't where I want it when it comes to the leave-in as well as the gel. The mask did a, a good enough job, but just in terms of now styling and thinking about how the styling products are really going to keep that moisture in my hair throughout the week. But for day two, I'm happy. I really, really am happy. Um, I think that this will be a product that I might use if I want good hair on day two or if I'm going somewhere I do my wash day the day before the next day I want some volume and I want some hold I might use it for that but out the rest of for throughout the rest of the week I don't really think so but I am happy with day two hair and I am happy with the results there's hold there's volume and also like my hair isn't crunchy or anything like that so it did a fairly 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 good job as i said i am happy it's a wrap guys i tried the Enwa um divine coals gel um the afro vegan leave in and the divine coal shampoo and as i keep saying I am happy. So drop your comments down below. What do you think without any refreshing? This is literally get up and go. I shook my hair a little bit because my hair was up in a high ponytail. And that's about it. I can see some of the flakes flying around whenever I shake my hair. Because as I told you guys, it didn't mix very well. And you can kind of see it. It's not dandruff. It's just a bit of flaking from the leave-in and the gel being together. So... Yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried the line? What do you think? The smell, the smell. I love the smell of these products. If you've tried it, what do you think of the results? Is this a brand that you would try? I'm glad that I got to use the sample sizes because then I can decide if I would purchase these products in the future. So, guys, it's a wrap. Results. You'll see me on Mondays and Thursdays with new videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, guys, it means an, a lot to me. Press the notification button so you don't miss any videos. Also, it's really nice, you know, as a South African, I'm giving a South African perspective on products in South Africa. So guys, you will see me again in another video. Bye.